Hola, sí, muy bien. Okay, hola, hola a todos. I'm gonna speak in English, sorry about this. I arrived in Barcelona in June and uh, I'm Italian, but I'm practicing very fast, I feel more comfortable speaking in English. So I have, um, I think only 15 minutes or even like 13 minutes <laughs> To, um, to, I mean, first of all, thank you very much for having me here. I think it's a great opportunity for us to be here uh, introducing uh, the latest um, work that we're doing in the City Hall of Barcelona, which is basically uh, putting out there a, a digital roadmap for the City of Barcelona, which is a plan that, that it's, a, it's a people's roadmap meaning we are here to, it's a great opportunity to be discussing this with you uh, because it's an open roadmap that needs to be built with the city and with all the communities in the city. Um, so I will present some of the main ideas um, of this plan and we will be discussing later how we make this plan reality. And I think this matches uh, very much with um, the, the, the whole uh, philosophy of this, uh, of this current government, which is basically we are undergoing a, a real process of transformation, uh, a democratic revolution. Many people in the government of Barcelona and key people in the government are actually citizens coming from citizen movements. Uh, we're not professional politicians. We're there to try to make the, the city better and to do it with the citizens. So it's a different, it's a different approach to policy making. And, and, and so we're looking at what is the role of technology in this democratic revolution and how technology can really uh, help us to devolve power to the citizens and to the city and then use technology to solve all the big challenges that our city, our city has. Um, so this is very much, uh, this goes sometimes very much against how the public sector work. So the public sector and the way we operate internally, it's sometimes very rigid, it's not, it's not open, it's not an open place. I mean, you may be here in this community, you wouldn't even think to go to the city hall or to search for your politicians to discuss uh, what is a better city for you. And you wouldn't know how to access to a lot of resources, which are shared resources, because basically what, uh, what we do what our job is, is we, um, you know, we try to make a, a better use of uh, public resources, common and shared resources, and then invest citizen money. So we think that this has to change and that citizens have to be part of this whole process because indeed what we are trying to do is, um, is, is, uh, is to make, to start with the citizen needs and then to make this policy work for the city. So we came up with this idea of technological sovereignty. Uh, and what it is for us is also a, a departure from uh, some of the main technological concepts uh, that, were, that, that, that were used in Barcelona in the previous years. Uh, for instance, the idea of the smart city. And why are we talking about technological sovereignty is that in a city like Barcelona, where technology has been um, kind of we, we did a lot of policy in the past of technology push. So it's a super technological city, we have connectivity, uh, sensor networks, data infrastructure, the city is super well connected. But then we started asking ourselves, what is the real impact of this technology in, in the city? Why are we developing technology and for what? And so the main idea of technological sovereignty is started thinking, why do we need to deploy technology to solve what kind of problems and to make sure that these are policy issues? For instance, in, like using digital technologies to improve housing, social housing, which is a big target for this government, to do a energy transition to more renewable energy and democratize the ownership of energy, um, mobility, you know, to create more public space for citizens and, and create a, a next generation mobility infrastructure and health and education. So these were big questions. And then it's how are we using technology to really make a difference 
difference there. It is very different from a technology push where you first go lay out the technology and then you say, what are we going to do with this data? What are we going to do with this information? Who managed the technology? And how is this really technology? And the data and the information that technology generate used to improve the city. And this doesn't mean that we do not see the value in technology. Of course, we do. And, you know, and we see the incredible transformation that is happening in areas like Internet of Things, like big um, uh, sensor infrastructure, AI, uh, the use of data and, and, and uh, artificial intelligence to do things that were unimaginable before. But the, but the point is, are we ready to actually empower uh, people that needs to, 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 to use this technology uh, to have a real impact. So the plan uh, looks at, at um, first of all, technology to make a better government and a better city. Here, I think uh, our great challenge, and I was talking before with um, my colleague from Valencia, is how do we make uh, governments agile and open source? Uh, it sounds like easy, it is actually very complex. Uh, we're starting now a process of digital and agile transformation of the Barcelona City Hall, uh, where we are engaging with public officials, actually across all departments, uh, and we're taking uh, a lead from the Technology Institute, but really working with all departments that have expertise in specific health, education, um, you know, the transportation, energy, and all of that, and also with, with our people that do procurement, so regulations that allow the, the city hall to work with companies and so on. And it's fantastic, I mean, it's a fantastic exercise. It's, it's very difficult to, to change the way we do digital service delivery, for instance, uh, which is a very like long process um, for, for like doing uh, public procurement, then develop services. We are changing all of that, putting like multidisciplinary teams that also have expertise to work with users in the, in the very first uh, stage when we think about a service, and then turning uh, a lot of the big legacy system, tra tra like migrating to open source. Uh, this is also very ambitious for Barcelona because we, we are we are actually open sourcing the smart city, which means a lot of the architecture and infrastructure uh, of the smart city. Uh, we are now working really in on interoperability, uh, open standardization, open APIs, try to make it to make the infrastructure of the city also open uh, for uh, talented companies, for communities, for citizens that really want to use this shared resource to build something on top of it. Um, and uh, the uh, uh, the other really big challenge is how do we use, for instance, public procurement to engage with startups and, and, and smaller companies and cooperatives and so on. Uh, and we, we're doing uh, like a b very big change there. So this I already talked about on like really turning the priority upside down on how we use technology. We have very interesting projects that we are deploying right now, for instance, on social housing, that looks at some of the impact and negative impact of uh, also predatory platforms like the Airbnb and so on, on the price of housing, and try to use data that the city has in order to map what are the empathy buildings, in order to make sure that we can have a social housing policy that can uh, have a, 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 like that can benefit the people that are uh, basically uh, without housing now or that can cannot afford housing. So working on this affordable housing issue, but using data and data platforms to do that. Uh, this is a big um, a big project for us that I will tell a couple of words about, that is the data ecosystem of the city. So we, we, uh, we, we know that basically what's happening now in the digital economy is that a lot of the data that is produced, uh, it is basically very centralized in the hands of few companies. And these are the big corporations of the, of the tech world, mainly based in Silicon Valley, uh, together with banks and so on, which are aggregating a lot of power because they basically have access to public data, uh, people's data, um, private data, and then they aggregate all this data in order to, to do predictive analytics and so on. So we're saying, well, uh, I mean, is this fair? Or can we, can we democratize data? And what is the role of city in this democratization of data? And then we think that really cities here can be an intermediary to pose a new question which we call a new social 
social pact on data, which means who wants the data and who wants the data infrastructure. Most of this data that we use to produce services actually is owned by the citizens, so not even by the public. And so we have to make sure that data commons mean that there is privacy awareness, encryption, that people own their data and are aware of what's happening with their data and why their data is used. And then we can create an open um, data commons infrastructure, which is a common good for the city with privacy aware in mind that, that you know, also smaller companies could actually try and compete with the bigger corporations that now hold uh, data in a very sil siloed way. So this is, um, this is for us very important. I only have three minutes left and I want to talk to you about uh, the, the plan really looks at government, city, uh, companies, they work with, with companies and then empowerment of citizens, which is a very important part for us. Uh, I think for this community it's important to know that we are very serious about uh, two things when it comes to work with companies. Um, that is not only to, 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 to map and engage with the city ecosystem that of course has a lot of, uh, is a, a lot of talent and a lot of potential when it comes to smaller company, Catalan PMEs, startups and, uh, and so on. But uh, actually this is the Airbnb thing that I think we can discuss during the, uh, during the debate. Uh, but basically we're trying to empower grassroots innovation in Barcelona. So a lot of the, the, the communities which I think are here uh, really contributing to build a more collaborative economy, which is a solidarity economy, which is based on a new idea of sustainability and building commons and, uh, and, and opening up to collaboration. So we have like um, a, a variety of experiences that are very powerful in Barcelona, starting from the Fab Labs, the maker spaces, co-working spaces, collaborative economy initiatives, which use open technology like open data, open hardware, free software, to create innovation that has an incredible social impact. So we're saying how can public policy really try to boost this ecosystem so that this become the actual alternative to the lot of um, way that we deliver also services. So for for us, this is also an experiment on co-production of public services, an experiment in creating, now we have a, a project that we're starting based also on the work done by the Fab City guys, but also by the entire ecosystem of maker spaces, which is a maker's district in Poblenau. And try to see you know, how we can go beyond only making stuff to create a really uh, new local uh, economy that uses all this digital uh, fabrication and the kind of industry 4.0 metaphor but in order to create a big impact for the uh, territory, for the city, for the neighborhoods. Uh, and I think it's very exciting. The other thing I want to talk to you about is we are uh, super boosting uh, Compra Publica Innovadora, which is uh, innovative public procurement. We did a lot of experiments last year, um, last years, in the, in, the, in the past years, uh, putting around 1 million euros. Now we are putting 10 times uh, the amount. Uh, it's a 10 million euros project that really want to focus on getting to the community like this one, getting to the startups that do innovative, uh, innov that produce innovative solutions or think about innovative services, communities that have ideas that could never be thought within the city hall and how you know, we can create challenges for the city and use this money in order to integrate what gets produced out there with the, the way we buy technology. And I think this is going to be something that uh, we're going to do together here in this city and, uh, and it's great for me um, to present it today. So I will end up saying, well, this is, uh, we're going to, we're doing a lot of things when it comes to digital education and digital empowerment, uh, linking Ateneos de Fabricación, which are like kind of uh, public maker spaces with schools and, uh, and, and, and going to uh, neighborhoods that ha are disadvantaged in Barcelona. Uh, we are really understanding that when you talk about, for instance, digital divide or technology divide, is never only a technological divide. There is gender divide, there is uh, socioeconomic divides, there is big social exclusion. So 
technology is a mean to actually improve, uh, improve the socioeconomic situation of the city. And then finally, uh, democracy, which I think uh, it was <laughs> maybe is going to be one of the topic of our, of our panel, uh, we take this very seriously. Not only uh, putting citizen rights, citizens' digital rights at the core of our policy, but also uh, taking a next, next generation democracy uh, platform practices uh, at the core of how we do public policy. And I mean, we've done great experiments with a platform called Decidim, which is an open source platform was used by uh, 40,000 citizens, creating lots of public policy proposals that will be implemented in government. And we're thinking about lots of different ideas, including participatory budgeting and many other things. So I think I stop here. Um, and uh, I just want to end by saying this is for us uh, an incredibly interesting to be here because we are really uh, willing to engage uh, with, uh, with the city and with, with, with communities like this ones in order to develop and deploy and make it real uh, what is the city digital uh, roadmap. So thank you very much. Thank you.